traditional. Christian and Muslim leaders gathered at different auditoriums praying for divine guidance and protection before, during and after the November 16th governorship election. <laughs> A number of them declared support for Governor Yahya Bello's re-election bid, but said they trust in God's ability to do what is best for the state. Our expression is that after the prayer, we all prepare for real election. That's why we're taking off inside with prayer. We are rejoicing, praying to God to come and guide us throughout the period of this campaign, the election, and perhaps when our son will go back to that office as the, that's the fifth or sixth governor of this state. So we want to appreciate God for bringing us this kind of peace and we want him to sustain it for us before the election, during the election and after the election. I will continue to say peace, peace, peace because when there is peace, everything follows. So orderliness, don't take law into your hand. If you observe anything, report to the authority and it will be taken care of adequately. To explain the relationship between politics and religion as a key element of the life of the people, we should not be ignored. And for the peace of God to reign in the land, for the progress of every nation and Kogi state in entirety. So we believe that in as much we have uh, corporately prayed together, we believe that God will have his way in the election for the good of the citizens of, of, of Kogi state. Religious leaders are not supposed to be a lady dancing, criticizing. But you can preach, you can advise how to do it, how to go about it. As the build up to the governorship election intensifies, the traditional and religious leaders and indeed their worshippers see peace and security as too important to leave in the hands of the security agencies alone, which is why calls like this for divine help will not be the last before the November 16th poll. Avoid Umogu. AIT News, okay.